Hey guys, um, my name is Amit Gharat. Uh, just want to clarify before I begin that this is not a rant video. Um, I want to compare Angular Flex layout with Tailwind CSS. And this is my research on uh, both the libraries. Uh, obviously, Angular Flex layout is a JavaScript um, library, and Tailwind CSS is basically pure CSS uh, framework. Um, it's not even a framework, it's just a utility. Uh, utility kind of framework um, and uh, I just come across this lately that Tailwind CSS is gaining a lot of popularity and I just wanted to try it out that I was just there was just no reason to use Tailwind CSS in angular uh, applications especially when you use angular material because angular material takes care of all your UI uh, and it there's barely any um, space where you can um, you know use tailwind css but trust me i found a better um, uh, better problem to solve with tailwind css in angular and that is where angular flex layout comes into the picture so angular flex layout is just a standalone library which you can use even without angular material without any external dependencies works well with latest angular uh, versions as well and it has a very declarative uh, style of using flexbox and grid um, uh, compared to what you basically write in css uh, if you coming from css background like have you if you have used uh, css flexbox or grid before then uh, this will be a little cumbersome if you use flex layout in the beginning because you need to change your thinking the way you approach uh, the flex box you know and uh, or grid and but once you get the hang of it it's quite easy to use and this approach I think is uh, really useful uh, in angular application to quickly apply flex box and grid functionality to your HTML um, I just I found this wiki where they explained um, why this library exists in the first place and I um, there's a couple of issues they mention here in this wiki and they're all valid uh, fair points um, if you write flexbox and or grid CSS by hand you will run into this kind of issues but I'm pretty sure this is kind of an old um, old wiki you can see it's edited even in 2018 and I'm pretty sure Tailwind CSS solves all these problems uh, in today's time so I just wanted to give it a try all right so the alternative I was looking for um, should take couple of uh, should take care of couple of points that I mentioned um, here so if there is a steep learning curve with whatever approach I find then that then it's a big no-go for me um, plus it should not have the similar footprints um, when it comes to angular bundle size otherwise there's no point of moving away from angular uh, flex layout and I'm pretty sure that whatever alternative I find would not be as accurate as angular flex layout and that's why there should be um, it should be customizable so that I can make it uh, behave like angular flex layout and I think Tailwind CSS has all those things so let's give it a shot okay so angular flex layout has two kinds of API's uh, first is declarative API in which they have a lot of um, angular directives which you can use in your HTML to quickly apply flexbox or grid uh, uh, layouting um, and the, the other kind of API is responsive API which is a huge plus point for angular flex layout because it has this uh, kind of a breakpoints uh, which you can leverage to conditionally apply CSS classes or styles on any element um, I think this is a huge plus point for angular flex layout to use and I'm sure a lot of people are using this 
uh, in their day-to-day -day life um, so let's head over to VS code and I'll show you what I have um, researched on I created these two different uh, separate angular projects uh, the first project has angular flex layout installed um, and this one has tailwind um, set up um, you can see here on the left side this is a angular flex layout uh, template and this is tailwind template I just uh, wanted to compare line by line where exactly tailwind CSS lacks um, you know but luckily there's nothing uh, that Tailwind CSS cannot do so I personally think that it's a strong contender to replace angular flex layout um, in coming years you know so uh, so a couple of uh, declarative uh, approaches I want to talk about here is very uh, commonly used flex layout row this basically just sets the flex direction to row column row reverse and column reverse and all these things you can easily do with um, tailwind css uh, which looks quite similar if you compare you just replace this with class you will get the same um, behavior not only behavior but uh, even the the experience of using flex layout uh, would not be altered even if you use uh, Tailwind CSS um, and Tailwind CSS uh, is not that complex to learn um, uh, and the documentation is great so uh, you can just go to their website just search whatever you want and then um, all, all the great examples are already given on their website so which you can learn from So I just tried out a couple of directives, I mean all the directives literally. Um, there are a couple of things uh, where I find some issues, especially in Tailwind CSS you, um, you can't, uh, you know, have all kinds of classes. For example, uh, if there is, if there is a margin. Um, you want to apply on some element so angular flex layout has a great API where you can just define any value here you know it and it will just apply but these class are built in um, in tailwind CSS so you need to have them and in most of the cases such classes are not available especially 5% um, or you know uh, this this value and this value lot of these values won't be available uh, and that means you have to create custom um, CSS classes for that but there is a better way in Tailwind CSS that they have this uh, configuration file which you can uh, use to extend the existing uh, list of uh, CSS classes that they already provide so for example I they already have this m-4 or m iPhone 2.5 which is equivalent to 10 pixel uh, all these classes are there but there was no this class so I just went into tailwind configs uh, file and under theme extend just include these three new classes that I want to automatically generate I want them to generate by uh, tailwind CSS so I can just specify here uh, this is my key the way I want to use it in the in HTML and this is the actual value that I want to apply so margin hyphen 5% class will apply 5% margin on that element and that is what I'm doing here um, and one more thing I want to point out is that this is also a great uh, directive often used to fill up the whole area by the by the parent here and there's no equivalent in um, tailwind css however i found that we can apply this w full and h full which means with 100 percent and height 100 percent classes to achieve the exact same result and uh, there's one more thing i didn't find which is um 
uh, which is this responsive APIs. Uh, for this responsive APIs to work as exactly like Angular Flex layout, especially when you are integrating Tailwind CSS in the existing Angular application that uses Flex layout, you need to do yourself a favor and just override uh, these uh, screens. As for this configuration, I just followed their um, documentation here and just created all these um, responsive APIs, which I could use then like this. For example, this SRC uh, responsive APIs, you can't do this stuff in Tailwind CSS, but there's an alternative that you can use background images in CSS and then apply those classes using um, Tailwind uh, responsive API like this. Um, and I also find some issues with uh, grid areas. There is no way to define these named areas. Um, so it makes it very hard to use grid. Um, with Tailwind CSS, you have to deal with this kind of um, complex, hard to read stuff. And I find this very um, human readable compared to this stuff. Um, rest of the stuffs are there in Tailwind CSS. Uh, this is basically replacing these two classes. Um, GD align rows where you can achieve the same result using these classes. Um, GD auto replacing grid flow row. GD columns. Here again, uh, Angular Flex layout has a great advantage over this where you can apply any values, but um, you can't do this in Tailwind CSS. So, as I said before, you can use Tailwind configuration to create these custom classes and then apply them um, using their respon responsive API. Uh, you can achieve pretty much the same result. Uh, it's just that I find this is extra work. Uh, but if you're not using grid, then there's uh, not a problem at all. And now the important point is why we are doing this. So one thing I found that Angular, as they claim, Angular Flex layout is very performant um, when it comes to data binding. But obviously, it adds up uh, your Angular application build. And I just compared quickly with this sample application. And I found this. So when I build uh, Angular Flex layout uh, application, the main bundle size is around 208 KB while the same template but without flex layout and with Tailwind CSS the main bundle size has reduced to 119 KB obviously the styles has grown slightly but still it is almost I think 40 40 percent um, reduction in main bundle size so that's a I think that's a win-win situation and I personally think that if your application is quite big then the the reduction will be quite big as well so i'm looking forward to this approach to try in some of my projects um all right so happy christmas and uh, happy new year to you enjoy everybody bye